Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm going to make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. One of the fundamentals in AutoCAD are the function keys. These are the F keys from F1 all the way to F12 that you can see on top of your keyboard. And just to inform you, these sets of keys are very useful and will definitely make your life easy when using AutoCAD. In some new laptops, these F keys are replaced by uh, multimedia keys or also known as hotkeys. So, you need to press Fn and the uh, F key at the same time in order to access the F function keys. Something that would be very uneasy and slows down your work when you're using AutoCAD. But there is a way of fixing that and I'm going to show you in the other videos and share you the link on the comment section below. So, to begin with, let's open the AutoCAD software. Press F1 on your keyboard. And this will take you to AutoCAD Help. Here is where you can access all your questions and issues. To use this feature, you can either browse and read all the topics that are shown here. Or, just type the keyword of the topic you're looking for on the search bar. Let's say, circle. Then all of the topics that are related to what you are searching for will appear here. So, F1, Help. Next is F2. Press F2 on your keyboard, then the AutoCAD text window will appear. This will di display the previous command, which helps you to review what commands you made since you opened the file. Again, F2, AutoCAD text window. Next is F3. F3 is OSNAP toggle. By pressing F3 on your keyboard, you will turn the object snap or OSNAP on and off. And to demonstrate, I'm going to draw a circle right on the endpoint of this line. Type C, F3 to turn it off, F3 to turn it on. As you can see, I can execute F3 even if my command is still active. Now that the OSNAP is on, I can draw the circle right at the endpoint of this line. So that is F3, OSNAP toggle. F4 is 3D OSNAP toggle. It is the same with F3 except that F4 is on 3D mode. As you can see on this 3D object, F4 allows you to turn on and off the 3D OSNAP when necessary. F4, snap 3D OSNAP off, 3D OSNAP on. So, you will have an easy handy tools while working on your 3D models. F5 is isoplane. This is used when you're dealing with isometric drawings. In the command line, type snap still. Snap style or still, S T Y L. Enter and change the value of 0 into 1. Type 1, enter. Notice that the orientation of your crosshair or this uh, green and yellow, I mean red line, or your cursor has been changed into isometric. Also, your grid lines has been changed into isometric uh, orientation. If you don't want to see these grid lines, just type F7. F7 is grid on and off. In the command line, type polyline or PL. Enter. Specify start point, pick anywhere. Press F8. F8 will restrict your movement into whatever orientation your cursor is at. So in this case, we are on isometric drawing. So F8 will make your line restricted on that orientation only. So put your cursor here or your mouse here, type 100. Again, your mouse put upward, type 100. Put your mouse here, 100, enter. Put your mouse here, 100, enter. Here's what isoplane will do for the F5. I want to finish the other side of my isometric, but I cannot because the orientation of my isometric is on this side. So to change that, type F5. As you can see, my line came to this side. So 100, enter. I want to go upwards, so press F5, enter. I'll put the mouse here, 100. So I want to finish the, the top side of the box. PL, enter, F3 for OSNAP, 100, enter, and I want to go this side, F5. Now you have an isometric box. 
So that is what F5 isoplane does. It changes the orientation of your cursor into different uh, isometric planes. And to put back your crosshair into original orientation, just type snap still and put it back to zero. F6 is dynamic UCS. With this turned on, you can temporarily align the UCS on the face of the 3D solid or a plane. To illustrate, let's go to Southeast Isometric. Create a pyramid. Pick point A, pick point B, point C to define the height. Now you have this face of your pyramid and this face of your pyramid. Then, Dynamic UTS will allow you to make another shape exactly on the face of this side of the pyramid. Let's create a cylinder. Turn on the F6. And as you can see, as you hover your crosshair on this face, the face becomes highlighted. Pick. This is your cylinder. F7 is very easy to understand. That is grid line. These vertical and horizontal lines that we can see here on the AutoCAD, these are called grid lines. And to turn it off, just press F7. F8 is ortho toggle. It allows you to create a straight line according to the orientation of your UCS. To illustrate, type PL polyline pick any point if my ortho is off i can be able to create diagonal lines like this but once you turn on your ortho by pressing f8 your line will be restricted to your ucs you can only draw straight line f9 is grid snap toggle this allows your crosshair to stop on the intersection of your uh, grid lines as if it is magnetized or snapping on the intersection of your grid lines. To illustrate, type PL for polyline, start point, type 0, 0, 0, so that you will go to the origin point or the 0, 0 origin. Then press F9. You can observe my mouse. It's being magnetized on each intersection of the grid lines. F9 to turn this off, F9 to turn this on. F10 is polar tracking. This allows you to track down the angle according to your polar tracking settings. To illustrate, type PL, enter, start point 0, 0, 0, enter. As you can see, as you move your mouse, your line will stop on certain angles. In my case, at every 10 degrees. How can I change the settings of your angle? Please note that all our function keys from F1 to F12 has a corresponding icons on the status bar. This is a full polar tracking. If you right click on this icon, you can see the settings that you can choose from. Let's choose 30, 60, 90, 120. So at every 30 degree, my crosshair will snap. So this is exactly 30 degree. So F10 is polar tracking. F11 is O-snap tracking. This allows you to create an object with the object snap as reference by creating a path or a tracking line. Also note that it is important that your F3 or O-snap is on. To illustrate, I'd like to create a circle at the center of this square. Normally, some people will do is to create or to draw a line here on the center and draw your circle on the center point of that line. There is an easier way to do that. Type C for circle, F11 for object snap tracking, make sure it is on, and press F3, make sure that your F3 is on, then go to the center point of this side. Don't pick, there will be a green markings that will be left on that, then go to the other side go to the center point and there will be another markings then try to meet at the center of these uh, two O snaps then when these green uh, tracking lines appears click the center then create your circle 
F12 is dynamic input. Dynamic input is a way of specifying coordinates or dimensions near your cursor instead of on the command line, and you can turn it on or off by pressing F12. To illustrate, type C or circle and terra. As you can see, there is some kind of a text box that will appear here on the circle where you can directly input your value. Let's say type 1, enter. Let's try polyline, PL, enter. As you can see, there are three boxes that will appear here. One for the coordinates, for the angle, and for the dimension. Type 1 or 2, enter. There you have it, the complete function keys from F1 to F12. As I mentioned earlier, most of the F keys has the same icon in the status bar. When you hover down your pointer on each of the icon, there will be a small boxes that will appear. This is called a tooltip. This will give you a tip or small information on that icon. If the functions keys doesn't appear here, you can check these three lines here, which is called customization on the last part of the status bar. If you pick here, there are still more functions out here. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video useful, please do me a favor of clicking the like and subscribe button because it helps me a lot. And also, hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Again, thank you very much. Stay healthy, stay at home, and may God bless us all.